Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a really cool short video on how to make a screw mantleable crown. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Hit the notification bell so you get updated on all the new videos. In the description, you can also find a link to my new Patreon page where I post videos early, I have specials, and I have some giveaways in the future. So there's this thing in the United States which is called a screw mantleable crown. And I don't know if this is only a US thing or a worldwide thing. If you know more about this, if you know if it's a worldwide thing, please leave a comment in the comment section. So a screw mantleable crown is basically a screw retained crown which has a custom titanium or zirconia abutment and a crown on top of it with a screw access hole. And the crown can be cemented either share side by the dentist or in advance by the lab. A screw mantleable crown falls under the family of a screw retained crown. It has a custom titanium abutment or a custom zirconia abutment with a crown, a restoration with a screw access hole on top of it. You can also make a screw retained crown with a tie base, but in this case it has a custom titanium abutment or zirconia abutment. So I was wondering what is the purpose of a screw mantleable crown? Why is it so popular in the United States? There must be clearly a purpose for it. There must be clearly some advantage for it. And I did some research for it and I found some literature and there are some clearly advantages for a screw mantleable crown. The first one is you can cement it share side and still have access to the screw because of the hole in the crown. So why is it an advantage? You can place the custom abutment first and then try the restoration in and out. You can check the occlusion, you can check the contacts and in some cases and what you notice is that the doctors are not properly training the tissue. Oftentimes what you see is a very narrow, small emergence profile of the tissue. And when you try in a screw retained crown or if you try in a pre-cemented screw mantleable crown, you are putting some strain on the tissue. You have to put it in and out, in and out, and that might irritate the tissue quite a bit. The second advantage is compared to a cement retained crown is that if a doctor is cementing at chair side, you don't have any leftover cement residue substringible, and that might cause some peri-implementitis. But there are also some disadvantages of a screw mantleable crown. For mm -hmm. example, is you have to cement it share side unless you tell the lab to cement it prior, but then you don't have the advantages anymore of trying it in and out and basically it becomes a pure screw retained crown. The other disadvantage is that it has still a screw channel that means you have to close the screw channel share side with some Teflon and in some composite. And the last disadvantage is that in some instances when the implant is placed in a not so favored angle, the screw access hole comes right out of the facial. So in this video, I want to show you how you can design a screw mantleable crown in ExoCAD. So without further ado, let's go in the video. Welcome back to the video. The first thing we're going to do is select a crown and material zirconia in this case for the abutment material. We're going to choose titanium. If you have a separate Scan body scan, use scan body scan. If not, use scan body in the main scan. You click OK. I'm not going to concentrate too much on the abutment design and more on the actual 
exporting of the school channel and cutting a hole in there. So if we have our crown with the school channel, first thing we're going to isolate the school channel. Once the school channel is isolated, you're going to save it out as an SDL file. Only the school channel, nothing else should be in the picture. I'm going to name it school channel for better naming purposes so I can import it later on. Click yes and use original coordinate system. Then I can deactivate the school channel and actually import this one. Click add and remove mesh. Use a generic mesh to import it, load it, and load that school channel STL you just exported. Click OK. Right click on it and hit edit mesh. Select the entire school channel. Close the holes, click OK, and output this again. You can override the school channel STLs you created already. Click yes to override it. Click yes and use original coordinate system. Then when you go into crown, merge and save the restoration. This only works in a merged restoration. I'm gonna click freeform merge restoration. This comes up, click attachment, click subtract and load files all the way on the bottom. You're gonna load the school channel that you exported rotate it that's important hit allow any changes and click apply this should cut a hole right through the crown in the same alignment as the screw channel access hole in the abutment you can see everything is perfectly aligned here then when you're finished what you can see is your abutment and your crown is perfectly aligned with a nice hole and this is, you're going to create a screw mentable crown. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give it a thumbs up that will help the channel. If you have not subscribed please do so now hit the notification bell and please remember my new Patreon channel where I give away some specials, some early video releases and some special giveaways. Thank you so much. See you again. Hey!